This extraordinary row over the Home Secretary began with a simple question. Should the pro-Palestinian march this Saturday, which is Armistice Day, be allowed to happen? Well, the Home Secretary thinks the police should ban it. The police say there's no legal justification to do that. Well, we asked the public, do you think the protests should be allowed to go ahead or should they be banned? And this is what they said. Half of all Britons think Saturday's protests should be banned. It is a clear preference to the 34% who said they should be allowed to go ahead. That 50% basically agreeing with the Home Secretary's position, if not necessarily her rhetoric. Now, Britain feels a bit tense right now, if everything feels a bit divisive, it's because we are still very divided. This shows support for Israel and Palestine, dating back to May before the attacks. You can see what's happened since then. At that time, nearly half of people didn't know what they thought about the issue. Now a third of people say they support both sides. But if you look at support for either Israel or Palestine, well, that hasn't really budged. It has fluctuated a little bit, but both sides have that core entrenched support. Speaking to that division, you can map it across age and political divides. It is there too. Conservative voters are more likely to support Israel. That's here in the blue than they are Palestine. But Labour voters beneath them much more likely to support Palestine in the green. And same goes for age. The younger you are, the more you tend to support Palestine. So over here, up at the top, there's huge support for Palestine, very little for Israel in blue. You go older, you come down this, and it tends to go the other way around. So those divisions are there. And the public seem to be a bit further away from their political leaders' positions too. Both the Prime Minister, the leader of the opposition, support Israel's actions. But the public's preference here is for opposition to Israel's actions and a full ceasefire. So from the leadership to the public, the data shows that increasingly we are at odds with each other.